been successful in the past in turning programs around and getting mm -hmm. them going in a different direction. And I've been successful with that, and it's a challenge to me. And um, I think it's prime time for a coach to come in and be successful with all the new facilities and new commitments and the additional commitments to athletics and things like that. So. I mean, I, I, I have very high, high expectations for myself, so um, those expectations are there. I do not, I don't intend to fall short of that in any way. It's, it's a challenge. It's going to be a good challenge. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I have very high expectations. I want to make the tournament in the next few years and, and just go from there and keep increasing. Uh, first, I need to uh, get my staff around me, mm -hmm. which we're working on that, and um, have people in mind that we want for that. Um, a super energetic crew that comes in with a passion um, and the faith to be able to see something in front of us that's not there, and then just keep um, projecting that on a daily basis over and over until everybody believes that Troy is the number one women's basketball place to be in collegiate basketball in this area. And so uh, recruiting is a huge part. Uh, hit the ground running with that. Um, I think there are two or three scholarships still left to be filled, and so we are just making sure we get the best people we can possibly get in those spots. Through the roof, it's, it's, it's off the charts because, um, you know, coming in trying to, to, to change the flow of things and, and get things turned back in another direction, um, people have to, you have to back it up with something. And, and so being able to show that commitment to the institution's commitment to raising the level of, um, of, of everything around here, the, the awesome facilities and baseball, everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, athletes come on campus and they look around and they see that and they realize, okay, you know, they're serious about having a great program here and I want to be a part of it. It's interesting that you should say that because when I laid my head on my pillow at night these last mm -hmm. few nights, that's the main thing that's been on my mind. Um, my style of basketball is um, run, run faster than everybody else, mm -hmm. score quick, score a lot of points, um, play the whole court of defense. Um, we're very active, very active. Um, and, you know, not knowing yet if these players that I didn't recruit fit into that style, I, you know, thinking about that, would I, would I tweak what I'm doing or would I, um, would I try to coach them to, do, to play into my style? I think it's going to have to be uh, a balance. It's going to have to be balanced. I got to see, you know, see what I'm working with, see what their strengths can be, and um, I mean, I'm going to continue to recruit players to my system, but I might need to tweak some things to begin with. You know, any coach coming in with players that they didn't recruit, you know, I think they have to have that balance. I mean, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. Um, you know, I didn't go to work every day thinking, well, I, I'm working to get to Division One. I. I didn't do that. Every level I've been, I've just been very serious about taking the team to the biggest heights that they could become, you know, getting the most out of them and achieving the most that we could. So it's not like I, every day I went to my office thinking, if I just, if we do well, I can get to Division One. but this sure is a nice perk. I mean, I think I'm at the, you know, at the pinnacle of it, and it's all out there to, to turn this program into whatever we want to make it or whatever we believe it can become. And so I have big expectations, and, and it's just still, it's really still just sinking in. Yes, I uh, have a lot of plans on uh, how to go about to try to jump in with the administration mm -hmm. and those who are planning to try to uh, be a little bit strategic in how we fill those seats, because I think you never get a second time to make a first impression. Try to get a lot of people in there, make it a very fun atmosphere the fir from the very first night. Hope to get everybody in Troy to save the date of the first night open the arena and everybody planning on being there and, um, and just looking forward to being a part of it. It's going to be very exciting.